the journey of defending titles for the legendary team has started. So welcome once again on the Ahli Online TV English News. I'm Yumna Atwa on the Ahli Bia Salam Stadium to get you the top weekly news of the club of the century. So let's start with the headlines. Al Ahli wins over Il Maqassa and Ghazl Al Mahalla in the first and the second week of the league. Al Ahli travels to Niger in preparation for Sunny Dip game. Al Ahli celebrates Shinawi's birthday. COVID 19 excludes Musimani, Sulaya Rabia, and Afsha from Al Ahli's game in Niger. Afsha's goal wins the best goal prize in the CAF Champions League. Johnson, we work as one unit. Sharif shines after Al Ahli's victory over Al Mahalla. Abdul Hafiz, Ishinawi, Samir, and Ashraf visit Abdul Wahab's family. Al Ahli basketball team wins the Derby. Basketball ladies qualify to the semi finals of the National League. Al Ahli wins over Il Maqassa and Ghazl Al Mahalla in the first and the second week of the league. Last Friday, Al Ahli defeated Ghazl Al Mahalla 3 0 in the match that was held at Al Ahli Bia Salam Stadium as Muhammad Sharif scored two goals and Mahmoud Kahraba scored a single goal. While in the first week's match, which was held last Sunday, Al Ahli beat Al Maqassa 3 1. Ali Ma'loul, Mahmoud Kahraba, and Amr Sulaya scored for Al Ahli. Al Ahli collected six points from the first two games to top the rank of the season in League 2020 2021. Al Ahli travels to Niger in preparation for Sunny Dip game. Our players underwent a COVID-19 test ahead of their trip to Niger to face AS Sunny Dip in the round of 32 of the CAF Champions League on Wednesday, 23rd of December. Al Ahli celebrated Shinawi's birthday. Al Ahli coaching staff and players celebrated Captain Muhammad Shinawi's 32 birthday after the training session. COVID-19 excludes Musimani, Sulaya Rabia and Afsha from Al Ahli's game in Niger. Our director of football, Sayyid Abdul Hafiz, announced the exclusion of our players Rami Rabia, Amr Sulaya, Muhammad Magdi Afsha from traveling to Niger for Sony Dip match due to testing positive for COVID-19, as well as Patsy Musimani, who tested positive couples of days ago. Afsha's goal wins the best goal prize in the CAF Champions League, announced through their official Twitter account the result of a one-day poll to choose the best goal in the CAF Champions League, whether Afsha's goal or Shikabala's goal. The votes went to Afsha's goal by 52.5%. Johnson, we work as one unit. Our assistant coach, Kevin Johnson, took charge of Al Ahli game against Ghazl Al Mahalla after Musimani testing positive for COVID-19. Coach Musimani had a role in this match as we work as one unit. I wish him a speedy recovery and I hope that he comes back soon to resume his mission with the team. We got what we wanted from the match and won the three points. It was a tough match against a difficult opponent who created many chances through counter-attacks. We did not have our best game in the first half, but we bounced back in the second half and scored the three goals to win the match. After Al Ahli's victory over Mahalla, Sharif commented, We performed well in Al Mahalla's match, especially in the second half. Victory against Ghazil Mahalla will give us a great push ahead of our trip to Niger, where we will be starting our CAF Champions League campaign. As a professional player, I'm ready to play in any position that our coaching staff puts me in. Abdul Hafiz, Ishinawi, Samir and Ashraf visit Abdul Wahab's family. Our director of football, Sayyid Abdul Hafiz, accompanied by the team captain Muhammad Ishinawi and our players, Saad Samir and Ayman Ashraf, paid a visit on behalf of the team to the family of Al Ahli's late Muhammad Abdul Wahab to offer all kind of support to his family. Abdul Hafiz delivered to the family the greetings of our president, Captain Mahmoud Al Khatib, and all the team players, saying that Abdul Wahab will always be in the hearts of our fans. Moreover, 
Abd al Hafiz Aridha Abd al Wahab is one of the most loyal players that the club has witnessed, stating that he gave his best during his time with the club. Muhammad Abd al Wahab was an important part of the Egyptian squad that went on to win the 2006 African Cup of Nations. He died during training with Al Ahli on 31 August 2006. Al Ahli basketball team wins the Derby. Our basketball team managed to seal a precious victory over Zimalek in the National League's quarter finals. The Red Eagles defeated our rivals with a score of 91 to 68 as our players put on a solid performance in the game, which was held at Suez Canal Authority Hall. On a similar note, our youth team defeated Zimalek's youth team 80 to 51 points. Basketball ladies qualify to the semi-finals of the National League. Our basketball women's first team managed to qualify to the semi-finals of the National League after defeating Gezira 89-52 in the quarter-finals of the competition. Thanks for watching Al Ahli Online TV English News. From Al Ahli Biya Salam Stadium, I'm Yumna Atwa. See you next week.